Hi everyone and welcome. In this video we are going to deploy a Windows Server VM to be used as our infrastructure machine and jump box and then perform a little bit of post deployment configuration. I'm going to start off by right clicking on my folder, new virtual machine, deploy from templates, Browse to the templates and select Server 2016 with a GUI. Give it a name. It is fine in my resource pool. Need to select the data store. And we're going to customize, customize the hardware and power on. So we'll choose Windows as the Customization, put in my IP address. Subnet mask is fine, we need the default gateway. And on the hardware side, I need to select my network adapter. So that will be on the 01 virtual switch. Everything else is fine and we will let that go. We can see that the VM is created and now all we have to do is wait for this to deploy out, power on, customize. It's going to take about five minutes so I'll be back once that's done. Okay that's been about four minutes. You can see that the host name is correct and the IP address is correct as we set up initially. Uh, VMware Tools is running all good. So the next thing I'm going to do is create a remote desktop session into our VM so we can do a bit of post installation config. All right, so I initiated the remote desktop session, logged in, wants to know if I want to make the machine discoverable on the network. We'll say yes to that. And we will see the server manager utility pop up here in a second. Uh, while we're waiting for that, I'm not going to go through every single part of the post deployment configuration. Uh, we need to do things like install Firefox, install PuTTY. You know how to do that. You don't need me to show you how. Uh, I am going to go through a couple things that you might not be familiar with. One of them is going to be changing the name of the network adapter. And the second thing that I'm going to go through will be uploading uh, a file that we're going to need later on for the virtual machines that will be in our nested environment. We don't really need to do anything um, with the overview page of the dashboard. I'm going to select local server. We'll see our Ethernet adapter pop up. I'm going to click on that and right click on the network adapter, rename it. We're going to call this production. That's all we need to do for that part. The other thing I'm going to do is demonstrate for you how to uh, upload a file that we're going to need. There's a number of different ways to do this, and the way I'm going to do it is when I set up my remote desktop session, I actually created a mapping to the drive that's on my desktop machine, and that is going to this class files folder. I'm going to open that and then just drag and drop this CPU busy file up onto my desktop, which we're going to need for a little bit later on. I'm going to pause for a second while I go and do the installation of the applications and we'll come back so that you can see what it looks like when it's finished. Okay, so you can see that in addition to that CPU busy file that I copied, also Firefox, PuTTY, and WinSCP are installed. That's all we need to do to get our infrastructure VM ready to go. We're going to end the video. Hopefully this has been helpful for you and we'll see you next time.